really like traffic. It's early in the morning. Uh, I like I like this kind of traffic. It gives me something to kind of some little bit of attention to spend because I do actually like spending attention on cars. Uh, it's a game to me, and I, and I like to play it. Uh, heavy heavy traffic where I'm going slow and having to watch my rear a lot. I don't like that so much. Uh, I like being able to focus on what's in front of me and what's coming up behind me, but not to the point of wondering if they're going to collide with me in the back. Uh, so this afternoon, well, there will be heavy traffic when I go home. Some of the some of the things I do in heavy traffic are vastly different than the things I do in light to medium traffic. I have a tendency to always stay on the outside of the lane, try to stay out of the middle. I don't stay in the middle in heavy traffic. Because in the middle, you don't really have much of an escape route. Uh, if you're on one side or the other, and somebody's coming up hard on you, and they don't see the traffic stop, at least you got somewhere to go, somewhere they can't go. So, and, and you can get out of the way and get far ahead. You don't want to split cars in heavy traffic, uh, and not in Arkansas anyway. One, it's illegal. And two, unless you can split three or four cars and get three or four cars ahead, the guy rear-ending rear the car that's that's in front of you that you are now beside is liable to push that car into you. So splitting cars in heavy traffic to get away from an accident is not a good solution. It's better to hit the emergency lane and have plenty of room and be able to get ten cars ahead when the impact happens. You know, you're well away, well far away from the impact and there's probably zero chance of a car getting pushed into you. So I tend to stay on the outside of one of those to the slow lane or the fast lane. Typically the fast lane. Um, or almost to work. I will say that, you know, like I said, this is my first video vlog, and my commuters seem to fly by when I'm actually talking to myself, or actually, hopefully, to this mic and to you, but it's the first time I really do that. Normally, I don't say anything. I don't talk at all, unless somebody cuts me off, and then I curse them. Uh, I have pretty bad road rage when I'm on the bike. But like right now, this is a good example of puzzle pieces. I'm not going to get beside that truck this truck on my left. I'm not going to get beside him because I really don't have enough room, legitimately enough room. I could make it. I don't want to. I don't have enough room to get around him and pass enough to get in the fast lane. Now, he slowed down, which tells me he wants to move over. So, and he did. So, he saw me, but I wasn't going to get beside him and get in a, an area where I don't have a piece to fit in easily. So, I keep him in front of me he does something like slow down, which he did, and then I'll move over, because again, I don't want him to misgauge his distance, and may not have room to, to get out of the way. It's all about time and, and space when you're riding on the street, having the time to make a decision and having the space to get there.